Michael Aarondrush were awarded the contract to build a 100 bedroom hotel in Bray on the Shetland Islands in January 2012. During the design stage, the complications with building on an island nearly 200 miles off the coast of mainland Scotland meant that the decision was taken to construct the hotel fully off-site in modular form. Through the use of SIPFIT structural insulated panels, rooms were constructed from scratch in the factory. Simply put, the hotel was built and fully fitted out room by room in a factory in Warren Point, Northern Ireland and shipped to the Shetland Islands for installation. This is a first for a hotel of this size to be fully constructed off-site and shows the cutting edge nature and capabilities of Northern Irish construction. The design team was led by MacLear and Rush Limited as principal contractors and the project was delivered to our client, Redefined BDL Hotels. MacLear and Rush won the contract to construct a 100 bedroom hotel in the village of Bray in Shetland Island. Obviously Shetland being closer to Norway than it is our head office in Cookstown. We come up with this innovative solution to how we would construct this building. Shetland has its own unique characteristics. So what we've had to do in this instance is we've had to charter a ship, quite a large ship, where we're going to deliver the 108 rooms in one hit. These units will be finished in the factory, shunted down the road uh, 500 metres, loaded onto a ship, sailed to Lerwick in, in Shetland, where they'll be offloaded and placed in the final position. The, the hotel is a, it's a boutique hotel, very high standard of rooms. We engaged with our, our partner SIPFIT to build it 100% uh, of the bedrooms and fully fit them out here in Warren Point, then ship them across for on-site assembly. The room pods are being shipped to and will arrive on the island on the beginning of March this year. And SIPFIT are the principal subcontractor engaged by McAleer and Rush on the Shetland Hotel project. It's incredibly exciting for ourselves to be involved in a project of this size. So effectively we are building the rooms in modules here. We're bringing them to a state of first fix where we then invite Michael and Rush and the, their own subcontractors to come in and, and do the fit outs. We were obviously using pods in a smaller form but we never thought that we would be actually uh, building a bedroom as a pod. Obviously this off-site construction has many benefits given the, the weather conditions that are experienced in the Shetland all year round. From a quality point of view, the rooms are fully fitted out in a factory condition. Quality management can be more focused and it's cheaper. We are using the SIP panel as the main structural component in the manufacture of the hotel. This is, to our knowledge, this is the only facility that is manufacturing modular units using SIP technology. The, the SIP panel, the SIP, is actually a structural insulated panel. It's lightweight and incredibly strong. Typically the thermal efficiency on this one is 0.17 U values on a 150 panel. It's fully BBA approved. It has a guarantee in domestic buildings of over 50 years. SIPFIT brings the pod as a unit to one of the warehouses where we work out of. It's uh, completely plasterboarded inside. Then our plumbers come along, put in their pipework, the painter would come in and paint the room. Furniture comes in, uh, our mini bars, or safes, and they're all fixed into the room. Uh, as far as even curtain rails, everything's completed. Uh, pictures on the walls, a lot. This is where the fit out happens. So this is the main warehouse where they've been fitted out. The room, the room arrives down to uh, where they fit out at. These will be put into place tomorrow and then we'll start the plasterboard, the ceiling and do the walls. As you can see here, we're standing inside one of the 100 completed rooms here in Warren Point. Um, it's located within the factory, as you can see from the block work here behind us. You can see all the furniture's fitted, beds installed, sofa beds. This is the finished, uh, completed uh, condition that the rooms will be shipped in. They'll be marine wrapped externally to weatherproof them from the elements. And once they're arrive on site, they're all assembled then. The main advantage of Warren Point is the access to the port. And as you know, we're quite close. Uh, we're only about 500 metres actually from the port facility. So it, it threw up a whole set of unique challenges, but Warren Point and uh, the facility here actually lends itself very, very well. In addition to that, again, the danger of being at port site in Shetland, where there's a, the exposure to the prevailing winds, we had to, in fact, shrink wrap in a marine wrap a membrane that would protect the units for at least three months. With a full-time site management team uh, on site in the Shetland uh, completing these works 
and here in Warren Point with full-time site management who are managing the fit out. My name is John Cullen and I am site manager for McAleer & Rush on site in Shetland. My job on site is to complete all proprietary works prior to bedroom modules being installed on site. Foundations, drainage, entrance and exit to the site and complete all roads so we have good access. The benefit to this type of construction having worked in the Shetland for a number of months now is that the weather conditions on site would make it impossible to build a hotel with 100 bedrooms in the time frame. In Shetland it would be much harder to get the materials, the men and to resource the job properly while on site. This, this way is going to be much more cost effective and also much more efficient. Our bedroom pods are arriving in spring 2013 and within four months we'll have a fully working hotel. One of the biggest benefits of it is, is we're keeping all the work within Northern Ireland as in the part of construction as in the part of materials bought, as in whatever we need here, we can get here. All in all, it's been a tremendous community-driven project and it's seen as a massive boost to the local economy. It's very exciting to be involved in this unique project. It's the future of construction, we believe, and McAleer and Rush will be ahead of the curve. The bedroom units were delivered to the Shetland Islands in a chartered cargo ship with the first bedroom pods lifted from the ship on the 6th of March 2013 and placed onto the prepared site in Bray. Within just four months, the hotel was fully completed and handed over on time and on budget on the 22nd of July, 2013. This has been a truly innovative approach to a difficult construction project by MacLear and Rush. And as the future of construction moves more and more towards sustainable modular builds, Murfield Hotel shows MacLear and Rush are at the cutting edge.